Hey there Psychonauts! So today we're going to be talking about sex on psychedelics. If you're anything familiar with this channel, you'll know that one of my most popular videos is called Sex on Psychedelics. And I had actually said that I would make a part three quite a long time ago, and I had always had a part three in mind. And you know, I think I'm really clever because for part three, I wanted to talk about the topic of threesomes. And so in today's episode of Sex on Psychedelics, we are going to talk about threesomes and the boundary dissolving experience. I am going to try to answer the question what it's like to have a threesome on psychedelics and also I'll just make some broader connections along the way. Uh, but before I get started, I do want to put out there there's a lot of good reasons to not have sex. There's a lot of good reasons to not have sex on psychedelics. I'm not trying to advocate necessarily for any of this. I am just sharing some experiences, making some connections. This is not meant to be taken as anything other than that. So that being said, what's it like to have a threesome on psychedelics? So most of my experiences personally with threesomes on psychedelics, well, before I go any further, I will say I've had multiple threesomes, but it was the same one that I had multiple different times. Um, anyway, so most of this was on LSD, and I will tell you that it is quite different than having sex with just one person. So it's a lot like any kind of sex on psychedelics. It can be intensely pleasurable. All of your senses are enhanced, so it can definitely feel very good. But there's also the potential for it to be overwhelming or even awkward or confusing. So these are definitely things that come into play. One thing that's very different about having sex with someone who's not your usual sexual partner is there's a lot of different, I don't know, neurotransmitters that come into play when it's someone that you're less familiar with. Maybe it's somebody you like, somebody you're excited about. There's definitely a lot more going on and it adds another layer to the experience. The thing about psychedelics is that the whole experience is a boundary dissolving experience. Not only is it dissolving the boundaries within your own mind, it's dissolving the boundaries between you and your environment, between you and other people. It's the dissolving the boundaries between you and your culture. It's deconditioning you. And I think that's why it's no surprise that there's a connection between psychedelics and these types of non-traditional sexual experiences because the whole process really strips you down and it can also do this very literally. There's something about high dose experiences that really make you want to take off your clothes. But let's get back a little bit more into what it's like specifically to have a threesome. So I said there can kind of be a little bit of a difference in like this sort of build up, there could be sexual tension. Sexual tension during a psychedelic experience is definitely a different experience than just having sex with someone that you might not experience sexual tension with. Uh, when I experienced this, it was synonymous with the come up portion of the trip and the whole thing, it's so weird, you know, everybody comes into the psychedelic experience with their own intentions, their own games, their own egos, and then the experience begins to break all of that down and everything is kind of revealed and there's this there's this tension this happens without sex anyway there's kind of this tension building up and it finally breaks down and you know sometimes that means shedding your egos i will say that threesomes are better without egos one thing about sex on psychedelics is sex feels so innocent on psychedelics and this applies more specifically to LSD in my experience. On mushrooms, sex feels very primal and natural and on LSD there's this added layer that it truly feels so innocent. Um, it feels so pure, so natural, so innocent. I can't describe it. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that acid headspace and can understand what I'm talking about. Um, but even these non-traditional sexual experiences, like the sexual experience I had was with two other guys. And even that, you know, it's something like even just saying that out loud, it's like, oh, oh whoa. But uh, it feels so innocent on psychedelics. Like I, I, egos are what makes sex not innocent. Sex without egos, I don't know. It's just love. It's all love. It's all sharing the love. So these type of experiences can be very overwhelming and probably too intense for 
certain people. There's so many things that are going on in a psychedelic experience and sex is so intimately connected with who we are as human beings. And even those of us who are less interested in sex, sex is still just a part of us as humans, as our human story. Not only is it the force that propagates our species, it's so much more than that. It's so innately connected with how we perceive ourselves. And, and I also think that's one of the reasons why sex is such a trip on psychedelics because of how intimately connected it is to ourselves and how we view ourselves. Um, another thing about psychedelics is they really allow you to tap into understanding yourself better. They allow you to understand like your things that are lurking beneath the subconscious you know you might have a certain games going on certain intentions going on that not even you're aware of um so i think it's no surprise again that psychedelics can be associated with different types of sexual experiences they can be associated with sexual exploration and really embracing your sexuality and i tend to think that this is a positive experience and that psychedelics are really just allowing us to feel something that we would naturally feel otherwise. I don't know, this is a really, it's a really tricky subject talking about sex on psychedelics and especially talking about sex with more than one person because people have all kinds of opinions on these type of sexual behaviors and a lot of them are not very positive. So, you know, I don't know. Sometimes the universe just hands you a threesome and you don't really question it. And that was my experience. So having a threesome on psychedelics is kind of like a double boundary dissolution experience. The psychedelic experience in and of itself is boundary dissolving and then having these sort of group sexual activities is a boundary dissolving experience in itself as well. And when having these experiences, there's some really interesting phenomenon that it can occur. I mentioned in my first video how you can reach these states where you feel like you're one soul having sex with itself. And this is not limited to just having sex with one person. You can experience this with having sex with more than one person. I've experienced it having sex with two other people. And it's so strange. You can have that experience of feeling like you're all within the same mind. I had this one experience where I was, I was actually listening to this Tool song, Schism, and some of the lyrics are, I know the pieces fit and I was getting the kick out of that but was but what was really making me get a kick out of it is I was in this mode of like god consciousness and it was like I was playing all these parts and and I was the one who made the pieces fit like I had designed the whole thing it's very strange it definitely goes beyond words like many experiences on psychedelics do it's definitely an intimate and a bonding experience i think these types of sexual experiences are probably more in tune with with some of the lifestyles of our distant ancestors maybe our hunter-gatherer ancestors i can see how these types of sexual behaviors could really bring a tribe together a community together um but it is kind of hard to think about do these types of experiences have a place in our society? I don't know, it's a little bit different. And there's a big question that opens the door to a lot of things. And yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm just here to make connections. I'm just here to share experiences. I, again, I'm not trying to advocate that, you know, this is the way that non-monogamy is the way because, you know, I, I, I like monogamy, I get it. Like. I have that desire just as much as anybody else to like possess another person or just like, I don't know. I think Terrence McKenna talks about this sometime. The whole thing of monogamy is kind of really paranoid if you think about it. It's like, it's just us against everybody else. And I don't know, there's something really romantic about it. And like, I get it. Like, you know, like I have that just as much as anybody else. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, but also another thing about having these kind of like reality bending experiences is you've just seen so many levels of reality that, you know, what people do in the bedroom, it seems like not that much of a concern, honestly. Like, <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's, there's a lot of good reasons to think about sex and its consequences. There's a lot of good reasons to reflect on your own personal behavior. Like, I'm not saying that things don't have consequences. I'm not saying that, you know, this should be some sort of brave new world sexual free for all, you know, it's, there's definitely things to think about and reflect on. 
<clears throat> and just like with anything, sex can be very addicting, especially if you're combining sex and drugs. <laughs> that can be a very addicting cycle. Like, trust me, there's a lot more dopamine involved when you're <laughs> adding sex into the equation with these experiences. Um, yeah, overall, having a threesome on psychedelics was a really interesting experience and you know i'd probably do it again someday but i would definitely like to revisit this topic again in the future i kind of want to talk more about mystical experiences with sex on psychedelics and maybe talk about i don't know things like tantra or something i don't know maybe i'll tease apart for but i'd love to know if any of you have had any kind of crazy sexual experiences on psychedelics i don't know let me know if you have and that's going to be all for this one, and you all will see me in the next video.